Teacher and Tool is a great way to check and assess your students' progress, as well as evaluate what they've learned and make it easier for you. Rather than looking for uh, grading specific essays based on reading the whole thing, you can just do a quick scan by checking and validating specific keywords and then having it assigned a percentage range to grade the student. Uh, this is a really useful tool when teaching online because sometimes uh, you want to make sure that students have really progressed in a way beyond just filling out a survey and self-assessing them on a range scale. This is a great assessment tool to gather qualitative data and also gather really useful qualitative data that uh, really highlight specific learnings uh, from each student. So I'm going to, in this tutorial, create an essay uh, assignment, uh, essay tool on history of tea and history of the health benefits of tea. So I'm just going to give this a title. You can give yours any title you want. I'm just using this as a demonstration since the last few videos have been on T and we're going to continue to use this T example throughout these lessons. So I've entered my title. Then my next step will be to select the content type. And here, uh, since I've recently used the essay, I can continue to use this essay feature again. And it'll give me details and just read over it to make sure this is what you want to use to evaluate and assess your students' progress. Then click on use. Now you want to follow the steps to create this uh, assignment. So I want to give this a little bit of a description and uh, talk about what the essay topic would be about. And here I want to ask students, what are the best uh, choices of tea for your body? And this is the essay question I want to assess because my lessons have all been uh, covering the different types of tea that are best for the time of day. And so I want to check to see whether students have uh, understood that lesson and to be able to specifically identify what was been covered in the lesson. So then I can say, uh, this essay is to evaluate your own learning around T's that are best for different types of day. Then, now that I've created the essay prompt, I can now think about what kind of solutions uh, what would be the, some of the correct answers that a student can provide uh, that can be easily validated without me needing to read everything word for word? The idea is that I want to look for key words uh, from a student to identify. This will help me quickly scan and look and check that they've quickly uh, mastered the initial lesson around T. So here I can sort of give an introduction to what the answers might be and say, uh, if you have trouble here remembering the types of tea that was illustrated, uh, please review module one. And this is just uh, to let students know that if they need a refresher, they can go back before answering this question. And then I can say here in my solution answers to uh, have the H5P validate them. I can say morning uh, energy tea can be like black, green, or earl gray. This is just an example. By no means uh, do I advocate that you drink this. These are just kind of examples and demos. So afternoon tea uh, could be relaxation tea. So maybe afternoon tea could be, uh, relaxation tea could be white tea, jasmine tea, just as an example. And then evening tea, I might want students to think about evening tea about being calm, getting ready for bedtime. So this would be like chamomile, um, mint um, tea. And so I just want to enter those in as sample keywords to look for that these are the solutions that they will see that they can enter that would be labeled as accurately demonstrating understanding and mastery of the initial lesson.
And so those would be the solutions. And then here in the keywords, I can just add the different keywords such as like black, green, earl gray, etc. And then I can um, add more keywords and say white tea, jasmine tea, and then also uh, chamomile and mint. I didn't spell chamomile. Right, and then mint tea. And so then uh, the other thing I wanted to decide is whether to assign points. Now, the point of assigning points in an online course is not to mint as punitive, it's just a way to say, well, you didn't get it, uh, so go back and review the first foundation lesson before you can progress to the next one. And so I can say, well, they can get two points for every right answer, and how many chances uh, do they get if uh, they do get it correctly? And so these are just uh, different points uh, values that you can assign, and it's sort of up to you. And I think the whole idea is to just give credit for effort, but also give extra points for the right answer because it shows that a student is paying attention and uh, they are learning. And then sometimes like students uh, will have some typing mistakes. And so you might want to say, well, I don't want to be punishing students for uh, minor mistakes. So I'm going to check this box here. And then I can also include any feedback if they've gotten the right answer or missed an answer. So I can say here, great job. And then if the keyword is missing and they didn't get the right answer or didn't uh, provide any of the sample solutions that I can say, uh, please review module one. And then I can also customize the field for the score based on the effort uh, they put into that essay. So I can say my first range is zero to 50. That means they tried, but they didn't really try very hard. I can say needs improvement because I'm, the concept behind this is I want to make this an educational moment and teachable moment rather than making this as punitive, you didn't get the right answer. The idea is to give you a baseline of how you've done so far so you can re-review what you need to know before proceeding to the next lesson. So zero to 50 needs improvement, 50 to 100. Uh, I would say the next range is 50 to 70. Uh, I'd say needs a lot of a lot of improvement. This one needs more improvement. And then I can say 70 to uh, 80 is um, good effort. And then 80 to 100 is, um, oops, I, 100. And I'll say here is, uh, Great job. And so um, the idea is these are my score ranges, and this is how a student's essay will be evaluated. And then if I want to customize the settings even further, I can definitely specify the number of characters that they must answer in each question. And I can even say how many minimum lines does it need to say in the essay? Can they retry? Do I want to ignore the scoring? And maybe for the purposes of the initial lesson, I just want to ignore the scoring because I want students to see the value of learning rather than uh, focusing on the number. And then uh, so many other options are overriding case sensitivity. This is really important because sometimes when you're typing, you don't really think about punctuation. And so do I want to override case sensitivity? And this would be yes, because I don't want students to be punished if they don't capitalize the T that I had labeled in my solution. And then the next option gives me a choice of whether I want to override forgive mistakes. The point of this is that the if I do enable this, then any mistakes uh, in all the answers will be forgiven and just seen as uh, a pass. And so I can choose to enable or disable this. And let's just say for the purpose of this demonstration, I will disable it because I'm really interested in students getting the correct and accurate answer. Now, when all that is said and done, I can click Save and H5P will save the content 
And I will see here that they've uh, given me the uh, visual of what it might look like. And so you can see it asks me what are the best choices of tea for my body and what this essay prompt is about. And really it's just about checking uh, for understanding and checking for knowledge and just assessing students' progress in their learning. So I hope this tutorial was helpful and leave a comment if you have any questions or have specific uh, tutorials that you would like to see uh, illustrated about H5P. Thanks for watching.